today I'm in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. I am freezing and it's a rainy, rainy, cloudy, misty day here, but I'm here with Kelly from Geek Meets Eats and Magical Meg, two of my Pennsylvania girls. Here they are. Hi. <laughs> and we're going to explore the town of Jim Thorpe today. We're going to visit the Harry Packer Mansion, which is really exciting because if you know anything about Disney, you know the Haunted Mansion. Well, the design of that mansion in Florida actually came from the mansion here in Jim Thorpe. So we're going to um, go around the town. We're going to have some breakfast and we have dinner reservations for tonight. So it is going to be such a fun day. Let's get started. We are actually getting our first glimpse of the Harry Packer Mansion from the parking lot. That's it right there. And then this over here is the Asia Packer Mansion, which was Harry Packer's father. And we'll talk more about that later when we walk up to explore. So that entrance right there is where you can walk up to see the Asia, Asia Packer and Harry Packer Mansions. We're gonna do that a little bit later Hopefully this weather will clear up a little bit. Here is the Molly Maguire's Pub, which I've heard gets very busy. So the main street here in Jim Thorpe that we're visiting today is Broadway. And that is where a lot of the shops and cafes and restaurants and things that we wanna see are located. So we're gonna be making our way down Broadway to the Muggles Mug Coffee Cafe and uh, get a little bit of some coffee and something to eat and then we'll be exploring more of this street. I already love the look of this town and Kelly made a comment about how beautiful this will look this evening with all the trees lit up. Oh and here is the inn at Jim Thorpe. Oh there's the train getting ready to leave. There it goes. Yes, so as I was saying, this is the Jim Thorpe Inn, which is a historic inn here. And there's a restaurant inside called the Broadway Grill and Pub, and that's where we're actually going to have dinner this evening. So I can't wait to come back here and see what's on the menu. All right, we found the Muggles Mug, which is a Harry Potter themed coffee house. I am very excited to go inside here. This thing is massive. Wow, look at that. It looks really fresh and really good. Oh yes, that is a good blueberry scone. Really good. The coffee has a really good flavor as well. And I absolutely love the decor here. It's so awesome. You feel like you're in the Harry Potter movies. It's really neat. I'm here in this adorable seating area. Everything in here is Harry Potter themed. They have Harry Potter decorations, books on the table. They're showing the Harry Potter movies while we sit here. This place is incredible. It was quite busy when we first came in, but it's cleared out a bit. So I'll let you see here what the inside looks like. They have a lot of different seating areas, tables, sofas. It is so awesome. I love it in here.
There's a sorting hat up there. Thank you. I really enjoyed our time here at the Buggles Mug. It was such an awesomely decorated coffee shop. I really felt like I was in a Harry Potter movie and the food was amazing. Best pumpkin cream cheese muffin that I have ever had in my life. The coffee was excellent. I really felt like I could sit here for a few hours and enjoy, just enjoy my time here. So it was awesome. Oh, look at all that. way to get a, a balsamic in your diet is to actually drink it. But the average consumer um, have really high grape content, must content, so they're sweeter. We're in the artsy olive now, and I just tasted a dip that they have here, the broccoli cheddar dip, and I think I'm going to need to buy it because it is delicious. Oh my gosh, we're going to make this for sure. With Here's Meg and Kelly doing some taste testing. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's so yeah. good. This, you have to try <laughs> so this. Good. Oh my gosh. What are you trying? It's a bourbon peach sangria, but it actually has a balsamic vinegar in it. Okay. Like the cream soup might be good. My friends get it. And they have a lot of food here and <laughs> that you can sample. Here is three oh, bean chili. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. Potato oh, leaf. It's on the tail oh, end. There's more sampling over here. This is such an amazing shop. You can tell that they really put their heart and soul into this store every day. It must take so much time to set everything up and they have so much things that you can sample. This is a really, really nice shop. This is a side street off of Broadway called Race Street. That was recommended to us to come look at the buildings. And apparently there's a church down here that has beautiful stained glass. So we came back here to check that out. It's like being in Europe. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Lots of people. How are you all? Good. coloring in these windows. It is beautiful. This reminds me of the elf that was on the tree at Pop Century when I was at Walt Disney World.
having a great time here at Jim Thorpe. The shops here are so quaint and beautifully decorated and merchandised and just seeing the shops themselves is a treat. So we're really having a wonderful time. We just came out of the Christmas shop here and the decorations, I could spend all day in there just taking pictures. It was absolutely beautiful. going to share the cheese plate. Cheers ladies! <laughs> All of us with Cheers! <laughs> I'm not much of a wine drinker, but the girls have me here in a winery and I am trying the apple raspberry wine. We're going to see how that is. Okay, that's pretty good. You can definitely taste the wine taste, but a little bit of the sweetness and the fruit taste as well. So I do like it. Okay, so we are at the point in our day where we're here to see the Harry Packer Mansion. The Harry Packer Mansion was built in 1874. It was a gift to Harry Packer from his father, who was a railroad millionaire and was the founder of Lehigh University. So the reason we're here seeing the Harry Packer Mansion today is that it is actually the inspiration for the Haunted Mansion in Walt Disney World, Florida. Now, the original Haunted Mansion in California is in New Orleans Square, and the Haunted Mansion in Walt Disney World is actually in Liberty Square. So they couldn't use the same blueprints for that mansion. They wanted something with more of a Victorian style. So they actually found the Harry Packer Mansion here in Pennsylvania and used the look of that mansion to create the look, the facade of the Haunted Mansion in Walt Disney World. Let's go have a look. Now this right here is actually the Asia Packer Mansion. And then right over here is the Harry Packer Mansion. So here is the Harry Packer Mansion, the inspiration for the look of the Haunted Mansion Disney World, Florida. What do you think? Do you see any similarities? Let me know. so awesome getting to see that. I really enjoyed that. We are going to actually try to come back up here later. They have a lounge inside. If it's open today, we might stop back and have a drink. Right now, we're going to go back down into the town and uh, do some more shopping and maybe visit another coffee shop because it is freezing cold here today. So we definitely could use some coffee to warm up. So this is the other coffee house that we wanted to check out, Curiosities. And it's right next door to the Muggles Mug, which is where we went this morning. So you will see some wallpaper that may remind you of something at Walt Disney World. 
the color scheme, the design. All right, so this Pennsylvania girl has got to try shoe fly pie ice cream because, I mean, it's shoe fly pie. Why not, right? And pumpkin cheesecake, I think. I'm going to need to try that, too. Yes, I came to a coffee shop and I got ice cream on the coldest day of the year when I was complaining about being cold. But it's shoe fly pie ice cream. I had to try it. And I also got the pumpkin cheesecake. So we're gonna give that a try right now. So my first bite, I was like, okay, I taste a little bit of molasses. I don't taste like a whole lot of shoe fly pie flavor. Where the flavor's at is actually, there's actual shoe fly pie mixed into the ice cream. So that is straight up shoe fly pie right there. Very good. The pumpkin cheesecake is also excellent. Very good pumpkin flavor. And it has bits of actual cheesecake throughout. So I'm very happy with both of my selections. We are back here at the Harry Packer Mansion. We're gonna be going to the Libations Lounge, which is open to the public from 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. So we're gonna go inside and have a drink and see what we can see. door here leads to a bathroom so I'm actually inside the Harry Packer mansion they were very very kind to us and said that we could take video in here and pictures so we're gonna sit down and have a drink and um, look around and just enjoy our time here it's really really beautiful in here here's where you can order your drink I was just commenting that this is like the biggest mirror I've ever seen. It's huge. It is so beautiful in here. Okay, so this is called the White Fur Coat, which is coconut rum, St. Germain elderflower liquor, or liqueur if you prefer peach schnapps, lime juice, and lemon-lime soda. Sounds really good, we're gonna give it a try. Very good taste, definitely taste the peach in there. I really like it. All right, so we're in the study here, which this was added onto the house after Asia Packer's death in 1879. Now this room was meant to be for Harry Packer's study, but he actually passed away shortly after his father and didn't get to use it for very long as a study. And this room then actually was where they had his viewing. So I'm standing here in the study and you can see just how close Harry Packer's house was to his father's, which is right over there. And out there is the town. So this here is the red room and this was Harry's reception room. They were very kind to give us a little tour guide information sheet, which is where I'm getting all of my information. I'm not a Harry Packer Mansion um, knowledgeable person, so they were very kind to uh, give us this paper here. So this is actually where Libations Lounge is located as well. You can see this large mirror that I commented on earlier. This mantle mirror is in the style of the Second Empire. I just think that mirror is amazing. So let's go do some more exploring. Here are the front doors. It says, if you had arrived here at the house on foot, you would enter through these doors. And if you arrived by horse and carriage, you would enter in the back here. I 
found another beautiful mirror here. That is gorgeous. It states that all of the large mirrors, mantelpieces, and chandeliers are original to the house. We're going to make our way up to the second floor. They said we can go look around upstairs. We just can't obviously enter into the guest rooms. You can stay here. So you are able to check in here like a bed and breakfast and actually stay here at the Harry Packer Mansion. There's Meg. on the third floor. These are actually guest rooms. Back on the second floor and this room here in the corner says Harry's Suite. And then down here This room here on the end was his wife's room, Gussie's. Gussie, his wife was Gussie, and this was her suite here. There's little name plates on the door. And then this room over here says Hazel's room. And Hazel was Gussie's adopted daughter. It has been so fun getting to explore the mansion here. The staff has been so kind to us and they let us, they said you can go upstairs, you can look around. They gave us an informational sheet here so that we could learn more about it. So thank you very much to the staff here at the Harry Packer Mansion for being so accommodating. Making our way out of the Harry Packer Mansion now. It was such a treat to get to come here today and visit this and to get also to go inside and learn about its history. The staff here was so generous and kind to us. So maybe I'll come back and stay here someday. I'm excited now to get to go back down into town and get to see everything all lit up for Christmas. We're going to have dinner at the Jim Thorpe Inn at a restaurant called the Broadway Grill. So that's where we're heading now to close out our evening here in Jim Thorpe. Look how beautiful this street looks now that it is dark out, all the Christmas lights are lit. I'm so glad we came here during Christmas time. I think it just adds a little something extra. Beautiful. So this is where we're having dinner tonight, Broadway Grill and Pub. We're gonna stop in and see if we might be able to get in a little bit early. Wow, everything looks so good. We all have our cameras out. Time to the food. Everything looks amazing. Meg got stuffed chicken. And Kelly is Parmesan truffle fries and some wings. And I got the bean burger, which is a veggie burger. We are so hungry from all of our adventures today. So let's dig in. All right, everyone, so we're going to go ahead and close out our day here in Jim Thorpe. We had a nice dinner. I loved hanging out with Meg and Kelly today. It was so fun. <laughs> it was so fun. Yes, I've always <laughs> wanted to do this, and they were the best people to do it. They understood yes. the Disney-ness of being here in Jim Thorpe, and yeah, we just we had a great time. So we are sending our Meg off to Florida. Yes. 
she is going to Florida to live there permanently in January. So this was her last PA hurrah. We got to spend <laughs> some time with her. And uh, yeah, it was a great day. We had so much fun. Thanks for coming along and I'll see you real soon. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>